Hello, this is a short uh, demo and walkthrough through pngfi.me. Just so you know what you need to change to get started. So let's start off with the microphone. Um, for myself, that's the chat mic. And output seems fine, yeah. So just let's uh, save that. And as you can see, it isn't reacting right now. Um, to handle that, I just need to lower the threshold. And as soon as this overlaps here, then you can see it changes from the two different states. And I can also smooth it. So, and smoothing is basically how quickly this falls off. So as you can see, this now takes a lot longer to fall off. Uh, the default value is fine for my use case, I think. I'll pay it low, I think. Yeah, now we're all checking how you can add your own image. You basically just go to avatar, uh, click on the icon, and then a file selector should open and you just select your file. Um, you basically need an open mouth image, a closed mouth image, and optionally you can do a blink one uh, with both open mouth open and closed. Uh, the blink one is optional, you can just delete it if you click the trash bin here, and that's it. If you want to add another state that you can switch to, you can do that here and you can just bind the hotkey. For example, if I want that to be control zero, I just click control zero in here and now that's that. If you do dockable, that basically means um, if you like press it again, will it switch back to the default one or uh, will it try to activate it again? Uh, in most cases, like that's doing nothing again. Also, there's the transition thing here. Here you can enter transition images, which will be displayed for the time you set here. Basically, if you switch between um, the default state and this one, for example, then it would display the transition one for a short period of time. Um, also, you can change the blink interval, blink time and blend time here. Uh, the blink interval is basically how long it takes for it to blink, blink time, how long the blinking lasts and blend time just means um, how much it does blend the layers together. As you can see, there's sort of a smoothing effect here. That's basically that. If you set it to zero, it will disable it. Next, we will go over how you can set up your Twitch connection. You can either go to general or you can just click down below here and it will go to the general settings as well. You can just enable that here and then you just click retry. This should open a browser window if you haven't already been authenticated and then it will just ask you to authenticate yourself in the app uh, so it can access Twitch. Uh, in my case, I've already set it up, so I just had to retry it and enable it. And that's it. And then you just save the settings. When you're in here, you can also switch the specs for that you have to restart. Uh, but basically, if you have any performance issues, you can just lower it here. Um, both low and very low should be fine as long as you have your avatar quite small, like mine is. So that should be perfectly fine at like 960, uh, 540 as well. And also, you will want to enable Spout here. Um, spout is what you need to get it into OBS nicely. If you want, don't want to have to deal with any chroma keys, uh, background removal stuff, etc., etc., you want to use Spout too. Um, in this app, you just have to enable this and save it, and that's it. And in OBS, you want to click this here. This should open their GitHub page, and you can just follow the install instruct instructions there. And if you do that, you install it and you can then use it. That also works with VTube Studio and stuff. Everything uses Spout, so I would highly recommend doing it this way instead of just capturing the application. Just to add how you can install the Spout thing in OBS, um, you basically press the button. This will forward you this to, to this GitHub page here. Um, here you can just always go to releases and then just go to uh, install.exe that you download, install it, restart your OPS and then you will see a spout source in OPS that you can select. So if you add a new uh, source, you can just select the spout source. Now we will be looking at the layer setup. Uh, with that, you can basically control how your PNG will react to stuff like, for example, talking, um, hotkeys, Twitch regimes, etc, etc. Um, for now, we will just change how much my character moves when I talk. I will just change the offset from 15 to 5 here and change the squishing to only squish in the x direction. 
And if I apply this, you can see it now just does that. And I like it this way a little bit more. I think I also have my character set up this way. But yeah, that looks a bit cute. Um, I can now go in here, and here do I have the hotkey trigger, where if control left, and if I press that, I'll just spin. I can press it multiple times, and that just makes it spin faster, and just multiple rotations. Um, if you want to add new layers here, you can just go to the layer menu and check what's available. Uh, we'll leave that to you and there will be new ones added in the future. But you can just check it. For now, we will just go over how do you add them. I can just add a new condition group here. Can name that Twitch um, bits, for example. Uh, go to drop down here, select Twitch bits. Then there's a minimum and a maximum here. So if you get a bit amount that's within zero and four million something, then these layers will trigger. And if I now go to the layer menu here and do panic, for example, and add that, then I just apply and then it will do that. Uh, if you want to test it, you can for now just go to the hotkey trigger, set that up and do that. So basically, if I had gotten Twitch bits here, then I would do this uh, panic animation. And that's more or less the gist of it. Um, you can also set it to toggleable, which makes it so if you press it multiple times, um, it will remove itself again. Um, but you only want these on hotkeys. There are also the options of, of using Twitch regimes here and Twitch subs. You can just select that in the dropdown. For the redeem, you have to give it a name. For the sub, it's just any subscription and all this active will just be always uh, on. Now let's quickly go over some of the more advanced features. You can set this to TDS pet mode. For that you need an OpenAI key and some sort of system prompt and if you do that you can just switch it to TDS pet mode on the top here and if you then get Twitch redeems etc etc you can then it will then respond to stuff. Uh, so just to go over it quickly uh, you can set minimum bits here, redeems, a chat trigger, so basically what a chat message has to start with to do that, um, if it should like create followers. Uh, here you can select what sort of TDS you want. We currently have stream elements, OpenAI and TikTok. Um, you can also add filter words here and you can also just test it here. If you want to go back to normal mode, just press human mode and it should start talking again. That's one of the more advanced features and the other one is the throwing system. You need to activate that, then you can just show your hitbox, uh, which will always be like drawn around uh, the character. And then you can just use test, which would just throw a couple of sounds. If that's a little bit too loud, you can just lower it here to something more sensible. And that's also both the throw and the rain. Rain is just from above, and throw is just from the side. And you can set up here some parameters for both of them. So the speed, the bits, the redeems. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, hope you like the software. And download it now on itch.io. See ya.